When I was a young woman in the 1980s, I lived at a campus in Copenhagen, where six young Icelandic families lived like an extended family, deeply engaged in each other's lives and doings. When I think back to this period of my life, I tend to get a little sentimental, and I can miss the carefree lifestyle. It was during this period I got my first video camera, and to become familiar with this new device, I took it with me almost everywhere I went. I recorded all kinds of events. My friends, the members of the extended family at the campus, were also rather keen on what I was doing and very willing to take part in it. I, or we, since I like to think of this process as a collective project, recorded private events like birthday parties, grown-ups and children, cooking, dinner parties at private homes, and picnics. The progress of pregnancies, children playing, going to school and growing up. I felt safe and secure making experiments in this environment. People were open-minded and ready to participate in my project. By the end of the 80s, both I and the other families had moved to other places, some of them back to Iceland or to other countries, Others moved within Denmark, like I did. I know that my collection of records is a unique documentation of the life of a certain group of people in a certain period of time, and that I have an obligation to take good care of this collection and make it accessible for the participants.